What is up, guys? It is Lay the House Ram here, and I'm sharing my daily fantasy and sports betting picks and plays for the Olympic basketball games on Wednesday, July 31st. There's only two games in the agenda for today, two men's games. We have Puerto Rico versus Serbia, and we have the USA versus South Sudan, but there is some good value out there, and we are able to find some decent plays on underdog fantasy and on prize picks for the slate today. Before we get into the plays and the analysis, I do want to remind you all to please join the Discord server. It's free to join. It's linked in the description below, and it's also in the pinned comment below. I'm going to open up right here just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. So I have a whole section on betting education where you can learn a lot about playing on underdog fantasy and regular sports betting as well. There are some free cappers that also post their plays. There's Dami Locks and Sports and uh, Zach Betts. Dami Locks focuses on prize picks and underdog fantasy and sleeper. Zach Betts is more traditional with regular sports betting picks. And then there's my own plays that are in there every single day. There's RM fantasy picks and RM sports betting picks. Those are two sections where you can see my plays for underdog fantasy, prize picks, and my regular bets on Hard Rock and Fliff as well every single day. The entire Discord server is free. There's a little over a thousand people in here, and it's just a really good place and a really good community. So now let's head over to Daily Grind Fantasy and see if we can find some value on the board for underdog fantasy for these basketball games today. So this is Daily Grind Fantasy or DGFantasy.com. It is a paid subscription tool. If you do want to get 25% off your first month, use code LAYTHEHOUSERM and you'll be able to get that and give it a shot. It's a really good tool. So what it does is it compares the line on Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks and all the other sports betting websites to all the other major sports books. So on this Underdog Fantasy tool here, you're seeing the play on Underdog Fantasy in this first column. This is what the actual line is on Underdog Fantasy. And then it's comparing it to FanDuel, DraftKings, Caesars, BetMGM, BetOnline, uh, you know, Thrive Fantasy, all the other sports books as well. So it kind of shows you which play is either a discount on Underdog Fantasy or basically it's showing you what the most positive EV play is for Underdog Fantasy and getting ahead of some line movement. So for example, like this LeBron James under 16 and a half points here. It's 16 and a half on Underdog Fantasy, but you see all the other sports books are at 15 and a half. There is no shot this line stays at 16 and a half. So this is how you get ahead of the line movement and potentially make some middles on your plays. So if I'm making a play for the USA game later this afternoon, I'm definitely starting it with LeBron James under 16 and a half points. Now, Carolick Jones, Carlick Jones here, he's got some solid lines out there. The reason why these are solid, and even though it's the same number, is because on a three-pick non-insured entry on Underdog Fantasy, where you need all three picks to win, in order to win five to one of your initial investment, you are getting minus 122 average odds. So if you make a parlay of three picks on, say, FanDuel or DraftKings, and all three of them are minus 122 odds, it would be the same payout as a three-pick non-insured entry on Underdog Fantasy. And that's how we get value on Underdog, by kind of making the plays that have the most value and also choosing the picks that have the most value. So Carlick Jones, under 13.5, is a good value in Underdog Fantasy because on FanDuel and Thrive Fantasy, he is minus 136 odds and minus 147 odds. And that is significantly lower than minus 122. So that's where the good value is in there. More plays here that are solid. You know, LeBron James over 27.5 points, rebounds, and assists. So, give your choice. If you don't like betting unders and you want to just bet on... Sorry, let me just mute that there. And if you want to just bet on overs, you can go with the over 27.5. However, if you want to get the better value play, it is the LeBron James points under 16.5. So, if you want to take a better value play, I would go with that one. Scrolling down the list here, Anthony Davis over 18.5 points and rebounds is a solid play. That line's probably going to move up to 19.5. Honestly, if you're making a play and want to go with these overs, I would combine LeBron and Anthony Davis both overs simply because in that scenario, you're just expecting an onslaught by Team USA. A ton of points, a ton of rebounds because South Sudan's going to be missing a bunch of shots. And then you could also run it back and go with the under on Carolick Jones here on 13.5 rebounds and assists. Just kind of proving the point that South Sudan just is going to get routed by Team USA. So that's a pretty solid correlated play. You know, go LeBron James over on the PRAs, Anthony Davis over on the points and rebounds, and Carolick Jones under on the rebounds and assists. Honestly, that might be a play that I make myself. If you want to see it, just be in the Discord server. I'll make the play, and I'll post the link and a screenshot in there for everybody else to tail. Just scrolling down the list here on Underdog Fantasy, seeing if there's any other plays that are popping out to me. Joel Embiid under 11.5 points is a decent play. It'll probably move to 10.5 come tip-off time tomorrow, so if you want to get ahead of some line movement, that's a good spot. Kevin Durant under 15.5 points. The guy was absolutely on fire the other night. Didn't miss a single shot. You know, you can't expect that to happen this game, but you never know. But the line is a bit inflated at 15.5. It probably should be around 15 
If it wants to go down to 14 and a half, it could, but I see this settling at 15. So you would be getting half a point of edge here. And then same thing with Anthony Davis over on the points. That just correlates with the over on the points and rebounds. The reason why the points is showing up on here is because one of the other sports books has the line at 12 and a half. And this is kind of skewing the average. So that's why it's showing up as high on this on the chart here. I don't think it's as strong as a play as it might be showing on this optimizer tool, but I would not fault you uh, for playing it if you want to. It seems like all the top plays are from the USA and the South Sudan game today. Um, there aren't too many options out there. Actually, I don't see any options for the Puerto Rico match. So we'll probably just stick with that one. And anything below 50% is just a bad play. So I wouldn't even go there. But heading back up to the top here where we were at, you know, Anthony Davis is an okay play. Uh, this Mario Shayuk guy, um, under 15 points. See, it's 14 and a half everywhere else. It's a solid play, not like an amazing value. And as you get lower on the list here, the values get worse and worse, obviously, because you want the top ones at the top. So let's head over to Price Picks and kind of see what they have over there. Uh, I have it open in this tab, so let me refresh. Now, if you're playing on Price Picks, there are similar values, but on different props. So you see, we actually have the Serbia and Puerto Rico match popping on Price Picks for a couple plays. So Bogdan Bogdanovic over two and a half three pointers made. You see, it's juiced heavily to the over on FanDuel, only a little bit to the over on on DraftKings, but a bit more on BetMGM. It's a solid play over on Price Picks if you're making a five pick flex play or if you're making a four pick power play it's an okay play um lebron james over six assists is a really good play that line should be six and a half so it will definitely move come tip off um oma here over three and a half rebounds not the strongest play so really there's not too many plays on prize picks that are really standing out to me you got the lebron over on the assists bogdanovich over on the three pointers made um let's see Anthony Davis over on the rebounds. That number might move to 8.5 come tip off, so that's a solid play there. And then just scrolling down, there's really not much else for you. So I would stick to those three plays if you are playing on prize picks and then combining it with maybe some baseball or some esports or just any other play out there to kind of round out the rest of your card. Uh, if you like this kind of content and you want to see me make more videos like this, remember to subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed the video, and best of luck on your plays tonight, everybody. Thank you for watching.